Hi, welcome back to the Kiddos YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at how to enable and try the authentication to your Unify network. Um, the easiest way is with certificates, which I'm going to link the video down below. But if you want to do username and password, this is the video for you. And then we're going to go to Easy Radius and we're going to click on register the Easy Radius in your tenant. So in here, we're adding the two Kiddos applications to give enough permission for, for Kiddos to to read your tenant and so on. So first we're gonna do the Kitos application. We're gonna click it. We're gonna log in with a global administrator and we're gonna click accept. And then we're gonna do the exact same process for the easy radius one. So first thing we have to create our radius instance in Azure. And in here we're just gonna do easy radius. And while we're creating it in Azure, it's a SaaS offering. So no resources or anything is created in your tenant. Everything is managed by Kitos. Uh, you're just doing this for the billing purposes. And if you prefer, there's also straight in our page, you can do uh, invoices or credit card billing. So in here, we're gonna click subscribe. And we're gonna select where we want um, the resource, the billing resource to be created. And then in here, we're gonna se select, uh, enter the, and then in here, we're gonna enter the subscription name, or let's just call it Cloud Radius. And then we're gonna go to tabs and subscribe. And we're gonna click subscribe. Now we're gonna click configure account now. This is gonna send us to the Easy Radius portal. And in here we're gonna select where we want it to be deployed. If you don't see a location you want and you would want that, feel free to email sales at ketos.io we can create one within 24 hours and we're going to do create instance and then we're going to go to our easy radius instance limitations because you have to use yap ttls pap and that's not the default in a lot of the oss so you would have to go to easy radius documentation and either set it up in your mdm so basically um set it up in your NDM with a profile saying, hey, use Wi-Fi, EAP, PAP. Um, and for testing, which is what we're gonna do in this video, where you can do it manually in Windows, Mac, and Android, iOS you cannot. So for iOS, you would have to use either Intune or Jam for something like that to, to manage it. Uh, but let's just jump back into it. If you wanna see local accounts, I'll cover that in another video. So we're gonna go here and create a policy. And here I already have one, so I'm just gonna scroll down to create a new one. And we're gonna enter the, the name. So let's just say password policy. And then the IP address, this is your IP address for your network. And then in here, uh, we can skip the CA part since we're not doing certificate-based authentication for the users. And then for server certificate, so if you don't have an easy CA, CA you can just do the auto-generate certificate and we'll take care of creating the certificate for you. And then in here, we are gonna create a policy, like access policy. And let's say, Antra password-based. So we are gonna enable passwords and we're gonna enable identity provider delegation. And we're gonna click add a policy. And then we're gonna click create policy. So our policy has been created. Now we have to go to our Unify router. And in our Unify router, we're gonna click settings, profiles, and then radius. And we're gonna create a new profile. We're gonna name it a cloud radius. And then in here, we're gonna put the IP address. And you can put all three and repeat this in the, the step, but in here, we're just gonna add one. And then we have to go down here and grab the shared secret that it automatically created. And we're gonna add it. If you also wanna add accounting, you can do the same. It's port 1813 instead of 12. So you would go here, enter the IP address, and then port 1813 and then the shared secret but in this case we're not going to do it i'm just going to do apply changes and now we can go back to wi-fi 
and into one of the Wi-Fi's we're gonna so we're gonna go here to our Kitos test Wi-Fi if you already have the Wi-Fi you can go into it if not you will create a new one and in here we are gonna scroll down and select either WPA3 or WPA2 enterprise make sure that is the enterprise version and then in here we're gonna select the profile that we want so in this case it will be the cloud radius profile and we're gonna do apply changes so up until now we have already selected the we have already done all the wi-fi connection to the radio server and all that stuff now to test it as i said we have to manually say that it's eap tls so for that in windows we're going to go to network settings so settings network wi-fi show available networks and and manage known ne networks and we're going to add a new network we're going to put the SSID that we copied from Ubiquity. We're going to select WPA3 Enterprise. And then here we could add the server certificate just so it, it doesn't prompt us for accepting, but we're just going to trust on first use. And then here we're going to do EAP method TTLS. And then we're going to do unencrypted password PAP. And even though it says unencrypted password, it is encrypted by the tunnel of TLS, the, of EAP TTLS. So it's encrypt, unencrypted inside the, the thing. And this is what is required for Entra ID. So in here, I'm just going to click Save. So I'm going to go here, select the Kitos testing Wi-Fi. It's going to ask me for my username and password. So I'm going to copy my Entra ID username. And I'm going to copy my password and we're going to go here, click on it. And it says, do I want to connect? I say connect. And as simple as that, I'm connected using my Android ID, username and password. Thank you for watching. And we hope you enjoy this tool as much as we do.